if, if the action projects are being updated regularly, the, the, the action that's most active is um, the one called Ideas in Action. Um, there is a group of about four of us working very actively on that. We have weekly meetings, and we had some meetings uh, in the U.S. Uh, last week uh, in New York and so on about moving that one forward. That's the, I think, out of the six actions, the one that probably has the most sort of pressure building on it. Um, so it's, it's going really well, at least the ones that I know of. I'm not sure how the other ones are, are doing. I think Nikki's is doing really well too. So, but I'll talk about ideas in action later when that one comes up. Yep. Here and whatever. So it's, it's, it's very important and that's why we held a, a hackathon on the summit itself. Um, we sent an email to all the organizers or all the people attending and there were 30 people responding which were really dedicated developers and so we developed, developed, developed and we created some nice, nice tools that's really good uh, discussions there. <laughs> now they, um, what they did with the API is they opened up their whole database of information, of talks, of events, of quotes, of uh, whatever information is available for TAP. So what developers basically can do, they can build applications which are linking with this API. Mm -hmm. So um, on, the, on, the, on the summit, we uh, made, for example, like an app where you can see all the TEDx events happening in your region and seeing the tweets and displaying random quotes and those, we, we created a Twitter robot which is still existing. I think Lens make all these apps, make all these maps, make all these, um, this is a very nice tool, this was, we built that also with me one day. It was an app where you can display randomly uh, TED talks from the region and um, do all kinds of other nice stuff. This is actually really nice connecting with the TEDx education, you can also search in tags, etc. It's, it's really quite new. Yeah, here the Ask TEDx bot so is existing. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun in uh, playing with it. But um, from some academic research with a professor on um, TEDx, on the TEDx worldwide TEDx community. So what we're doing, what we're researching is uh, the motivations of people to get engaged in this uh, community, like extrinsic, intrinsic. What do you kind of hope to do with it? Obviously that's dependent on what the research shows, but... I, I when you arrive at the project homepage, please change status into work in progress and go to produce a name and enter the name of the group. When you're done with the entry, please click submit and continue with the process. First stage in producing a video is to talk the treatment. You write down the story you'd like to tell and how you'd like to tell it. If you want to have expert in camera, do you want to have somebody drawing, do you want to see a group acting and so on and so forth. Finally, you enter the storyboard. In the left box, you write down everything you see. In the right box, every word is spoken. Please don't forget to click Submit when you're done. Thank you very much for your support, time and effort. And it's really great that you're doing this today. And I can't wait to see the output of your today's endeavor. So, hello from Vienna and have very much fun in Amsterdam. Bye. Well, one, one of the things that I'm really conscious of is that none of us are professional fundraisers. We're all, you know, we're all doing this, we're all volunteers, we all have other day jobs. And so this year what we did is we, uh, last year we had a major sponsor who pulled out a month before the event. It was also less than, less than ideal. Yeah, it was. So again, it cost us, it cost us some money and we had some downsides, blah, blah, blah. So this year we decided um, to really start talking to our sponsors, like, a normal conversation like with normal people to try and find out what they actually want and to create events and um, ex exhibits and whatever around them, around their objectives so that they felt that they were actually getting something that was of value of them and it was a lot more work but it actually worked a lot better and we now have relationships that I think that we can, we can build on for the future. We'll see um, next year. Um, and, and they move around. You know, there's there were two on, on these these trolleys, the you know center studio uh, ones, and then a handheld one that just was moving around all the time on stage as well. But let's not get get into the specifics yet. Let's yeah. let's first hear from everyone. Uh, I can't give you uh, very specific information because I just joined the TEDx crack of things. So. Uh -huh. I haven't really done much work other than give a talk. But um, 
I guess I'd like to help with speaker selection and I was lucky enough during my stay in the States to work closely with a head coach. And, you know, he was a great help in preparing me how to deliver a great speech and convey the spirit of TED at the same time. So this is something I'd like to help the future best speakers with. That's the best cost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that takes rich princesses, so. Yeah. But there are a lot of those in the world. True. Jim probably knows that. I know a few. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but still, those people are not going to be there or going to help out, so. But what we do want but is that spread. opportunity yeah. to let new people yeah. in. We don't want it to be the six of us and the exec team for the rest of <coughs> the years. Um, so what we have is a big open call, and that's where we start gauging where people are interested. And then it depends on which team, like the marketing team, they're busy from day one. It's just like the curating team and the production team where it's limited time for their... Are you busy? Are you doing the general on reputation for the team? How do you recruit people to the team? No, 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 the team. No, 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 the team. Mostly for us, it's through networks. This is important, so you are really up to date when you start in, well, uh, the f follow in the third month yeah. for yeah, the timeline. The stage. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. say the timeline. Yeah. And that's compared to email very important, especially once people leave. The team. Yeah. And uh, it's a good tool. Oh, we'll just do this app, and everything will be there. And then we also thought, wait a minute, no, I don't want the speakers to see people on their phones during and just checking the, something. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a conflicting thing. Right? Yeah. I, I guess. Um, maybe it's different for, for you guys, but in the Netherlands, yeah. TEDx is the event where everybody's always on their phones, on their yeah. phones yeah. and on their iPads, so it doesn't really matter. No. But it's disturbing. I mean, I've got to be honest with you, sitting there yesterday... You want yeah. to use use our tweet hash? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm here at the event, I want, you know, to, to, to yeah. live the experience. But I guess Not this is the direction we're heading. And yeah. People want to. I mean, that's also TEDx. Yeah. That's our. That's our whole promotion as well. All those, those uh, hashtags, all the media outbursts. People like, oh, can I retweet?